Okay, so share it. Okay, so anyone with the link now can see it. And so I will share this link with any of you. It'll be down in the description below. Hello, welcome to the You of How To. My name is Sharbal Tawil. In, in this video, we're going to look at some hacks and the ways that we can share the files that we have created in our G Suite products like Google Docs or Google Slides. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. If you do, make sure you click on that bell to receive notifications. Click that thumbs up and make sure you share it with anyone else you think will find use out of this video. Let's dive right in. Okay, so uh, let's start with this Google drawing that I made earlier uh, to kind of just show what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So there are ways to share our documents, um, our files that we create through G Suite in some more convenient ways, either convenient for us or convenient for the recipient of our files. Okay, and so uh, let's start with maybe some that you may have heard of already. So the one here, uh, the copy. So if we want to force our recipients, and that can be students, for example, to have to make a copy, oftentimes we share files and we just trust that they will make a copy or we ask that they'll make a copy and just kind of assume or hope that they will. So this is one way to ensure that they have to make a copy. Okay, and so uh, you'll see at the end of the, the share link, uh, it'll end with slash edit and some other stuff. And we're going to replace that with backslash copy. Okay. And this will work in Google Docs, slides, sheets, and drawings. Okay. So um, if I just pick a Google slide here, for example, so I got this template from Slidesmania. Okay. So go to slidesmania.com. I'll put the link in the description down below. A ton of free templates there if you are interested. So let's say I want to share this. We would go to share, okay, and make sure that we have it available to anyone who sees this link. So we can change this. Okay, so anyone with the link will be able to view this file. So we're going to copy the link. If I just open up a new tab and I paste that link. Okay, so you can see the ending here is slash edit question mark and some other stuff. Okay, so we're going to replace that with the word copy and hit enter. And you'll see when we send this link to our recipients, this is what they'll get. Okay, it's forcing them to have to make a copy of that Google slide. Okay, and it works the same with documents and sheets and drawings. Okay, and without having to change much here. Okay, if the original included some comments, then we would want to replace with something a little bit different. Okay, it's still going to force them to make a copy, but they'll actually get to see the comments. So for that one, I'll open up this Google Doc. Okay, and this is another template I just found online uh, for a hyperdoc. Okay, and so uh, I'll put the link to this site as well in the description down below. So let's say I wanted to add a comment here. Uh, let's just add one and let's just say, um, you know, don't forget this part of a lesson. Okay. We don't want to forget to engage the students, give them a reason to want to partake in the lesson, right? Learn what they, what we want them to learn. So that's my comment. And now I want to share this. Okay. So, uh, if I, share here to grab the link. Okay, so again, we'll change it so anyone with the link can see it copy link. Okay, so we'll paste it and again, just to show you the difference if I were to put in just the word copy at the end. So if we just use the word copy, okay, this forced me to make a copy. And so because I made the copy, I am allowed to edit it now. And you'll notice that the copy was made, but the comment is not there. Okay. And so if we go back to that link and we change the ending 
instead of just copy like we did before, if we change it to copy question mark copy comments equals true and it's still going to force us to make a copy which is what we want okay and so now this copy that was made has the comment included okay what about preview so preview uh, for this one let's maybe go to Google sheet again this will work with any of them and we're just going to replace that ending again with the word preview instead so let's say I go to this Google sheet that again I found a template online and and this one had um, a bunch of financial templates so I will include the link to this website where I found this um, in the description down below okay and so let's say we want to share it Okay, and so we're going to copy the link. And so now this time, so we want to preview it. Okay, so previewing it is going to make it so that we can see the file without having the opportunity to edit. Okay, so when you make a copy, when we chose those copy functions, as soon as you made that copy, you have the option to edit. So this will eliminate that and just give us a preview of the file okay so there's a preview right? I can scroll through it but I can't click and change anything okay so it's just there for me to look at essentially and if I were doing this with a Google slide it would essentially take you into so we'll change the ending again to preview It essentially takes you into presentation, that present mode, okay, without being full screen. You can see I can work my way through the slides and not even just work through the slides. I can actually, you know, click on any of the links, okay. But again, this is just a preview. I cannot edit. Um, I can go full screen if I want, but I can't go back and make any changes, okay. It's just a preview. Okay, so now that's previewing it. If you want to turn it into a template, okay, so there's just a slight difference in the way that it's presented. So let's just use that Google slide again. So if I paste that link, instead of just typing in preview, if I type in template first, backslash preview, okay, you'll see the presentation of it is going to look a little bit different here. Okay, so you can see it's in a little bit smaller of a window. Um, you have the opportunity to preview it and see if you would actually want to use this template. Okay, so you can still, again, click on any of the links. Um, you can, you know, go through the slide, play it however you want to do that, preview it. And if you like it, you click on use template. Okay, so this is the template. Um, but I do have the option now to start editing or make my own copy and, and go from there. Okay, so that's the preview and template preview now finally this PDF option which I think is actually um, I, I didn't know about this and I think it's could come in handy so uh, we're going to replace the ending instead of it being edit we're going to use export slash PDF and that's if we want one of our slides or drawings to have a direct download link created and so as soon as the recipient clicks on that link it's automatically going to start downloading this PDF to their device okay so for this example I can actually use the drawings that I have right here okay so let's share it okay so anyone with the link now can see it and so I will share this link with any of you it'll be down in the description below okay so now I have the link I can paste it and the ending is going to be export slash PDF and you'll see now as soon as I hit enter this link is not a link to open up this file or to open up this drawing it's a link to download this PDF so as soon as I hit enter okay, you'll see nothing really happens to my screen here but down below here there it is G Suite sharing okay so if I open it up there it is okay it's a PDF now uh, you can print it, you can save it to your drive, you can do whatever you want to do, okay? But now this is a PDF document for your own. Okay, so that is for slides or for drawings. So let's get out of here. Now what about, so 
So what about docs or sheets? So for those, it's unfortunate, um, you know, copy works with all four, preview works with all four. For some reason, the export slash PDF won't work with all four uh, docs, slides, sheets, and drawings. So for docs and sheets, we need to modify it a little bit. Okay, so it's export question mark format equals PDF. So let's say, let's go back to this um, and we will copy the link, paste it and change that ending to export question mark format equals PDF. So I hit enter and there it is. Okay, my PDF, I can open it up. There's that template that I had in PDF form, okay? And so there are some unique ways to share our files uh, using uh, a little hack where we just kind of change the endings. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, consider subscribing. Um, hit that like button, share, comment down below. Let me know how you like this. Did you know about these? Did you not know about these, but you don't care <laughs> about these? Uh, you know, do you think that you're going to use this? You know, yes, no. Uh, you know, let's start a conversation down below. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.